Black Panther Wakanda Forever is coming out soon. So I thought I'd do another Black Panther picture. So this is like with his claws coming across his chest, right? So I'm on the landscape page, use pencil eraser and hit pause if I go too fast. We're gonna start with his eyes. Center point about here. Come up over to the right. And we're gonna start with his sort of frown, sort of heavy frowning eye. So it just comes across here. up the back right and then he has his white eye in there so it comes down the front across up and back in do the same thing on the other side just across in this frown bring it up kind of curves around here and then his eye again Go here. It goes across, back in, and those eyes are just white, of course, in there. So you can have sort of all these shapes now around his nose and all this kind of stuff, right? So you'll have like some wrinkles coming in right just because he's frowning coming down there right and then he has those white stripes as well silver stripes right so um, we're, we'll do the basic sort of form right so it comes down from his eyebrow the edge of his eyebrow here right so, and it's a double line so you'll come down across there and then it goes down like so and then over the nose Back up towards the eye, there, then around, and up to the corner there. Right, and then the other side comes down, across, down to there. Now, uh, how straight you do these is kind of to you. You could use a ruler if you wanted, but they are slightly curved because they're on his face. And then this comes across this way. Okay. So then we could have like some lines just coming down to show that this is like going over his mask and stuff and his chin will just be like down here. So then the jaw, Oop, like so, change direction here. And it's like, this kind of stops here and it goes up for his neck, right? So we do the same thing kind of here. So we're outside his eye. He's got a real wide jaw. It's exaggerated sort of comic book style now. So we'll just bring this all the way up to his ear. It's kind of like Batman. Right. Back down to there. And then this comes across like so. He seems to have like a line just coming down here. Now, more details on his mask, on his face, right? So we've got a couple of lines that come across here. Down. And this comes down, joins another one that goes down off his jaw. And then we keep going down to his chin there. This one, same sort of thing. So you're just copying the other side, like so. And of course, like as much sort of hatching and stuff on the inside as you want, you know, any sort of extra lines that you want to do, you can. But we'll keep it simple.
So then, right, so we got like another one that comes across his nose here. So does it disappear? That's the question. I need to find a different picture now. Okay, it like comes across and goes into his eye, is that right? I think it goes just across the bridge of his nose, right? So we'll go, we'll go up, and then we'll go down right here. And I think I want to bring it like into the corner of his eye. This is just a me thing now, because I think it makes more sense if it goes in there. And then this comes down, up, over the bridge of his nose, into the corner of his eye there, right? Have some edge lines around his eye. And any lines, of course, you go over, you can just erase. Right, so then the ones on his brow, So they come out like here, change direction twice around the back of his head. And then go this side as well, keep it semi-symmetrical. And then we have another set coming out from his eyebrow. And these just spike here, it looks like. Same thing on this side. Like so, and then, you know, frowning sort of lines just for the mask. All up here, as much of that as you want now. Textures and stuff. And you can break up more of his face if you want, like into the the more detailed mask in the movie, or you can keep it sort of comic book. I think I'll just keep it kind of like this. Okay, so his hands are coming across his chest. So this is like a bit more complicated now. So the hand part, right? So he's got these claws that sort of come across his face, right? So we've got these sharp ones. So it goes around this way, right? index finger down to there and you've got a sharp claw here right and the finger will come down there it's real big claws now and they've got these silver rings sort of around each one And his thumb sort of in behind, you can't really see it. And it'll cut across his face on this side. The back of his hand will go down here. Lots of sort of textures and details on these. So then, next finger, right? So we've got like, it's like a knuckle line there, right? And then the next finger will go out up this way, around to a claw. You can see less of the claw here. Like a knuckle in there for the back of his hand. And these silver rings coming around each knuckle. Next 
one then. So hands are tricky now, and his hands are like really, really big, right? They're out in front, exaggerated sort of size, right? Because they're sort of foreshortened. Right, like so, and then the next ring. So they gradually get smaller as we go down. Another sort of knuckle there. And then the next one. And like so, another sort of knuckle here. This is his pinky, so. Right, and then the sort of side of his hand. So that's a knuckle, so side of his hand will go here. And his glove lines are like here, so you know, kind of these wrinkles there. All right, so big claw, right? And then he has those silver wristbands. So go diagonal up, cross to there, and then we go down into there. And this steps up again, down like that. And then you'll have just some like edge lines connecting. Some textures and stuff because it is metal. And then his wrist and forearm goes down off my page. This way, so he's got like a silver claw thing here as well. And like the forearm goes goes off there. And then the other side of his wrist comes out like there. And then we have another sort of section here. So, and then like muscle lines and wrist lines and stuff. All right, so, so far one big claw. The other one comes up underneath here, like side of his hand and his thumb. Like there, the other side of his wrist with the palm of his hand it would be like here somewhere. And then same thing again, just copy kind of the other side. Knuckles down to a big claw. Rings around each knuckle, silver. All right, like so. Knuckle lines. There, then the next one. Bump and down like that. Spiky claw. And then this curves down around here. 
Put some silver rings around each knuckle again. And we can add some like lines just on the edge. Next finger, it's bumpy because we've got those rings on his knuckles. And finally, just his little finger there, like that. And then some knuckle lines. Some wrist lines. Okay, and then, so his other wrist will come out here. And we'll kind of go down off there. Can't really see the other one, maybe there a little bit. Real muscly arms now on this guy, comic book style. Going off that way. So his shoulders, so we just have, say coming down from his neck, say, got a real wide neck on this side. Coming down from there. And then we can see his trapezius just in between his fingers. And then his shoulder comes out this way and down. And then his bicep line is like in here somewhere. And then he has grey patterning, like the grey lines on his face. Coming down there. I don't know if you can hear that, it's raining real heavy outside, it's really loud. Sorry now if that's this pattern here, goes up that way. And this kind of joins this, and then it bumps down his arm. Somewhere there. Tricep line, you know, shoulder muscle. like that and then we'll give sort of some neck muscle lines just in here and chest muscle coming across we should see um, some spikes so he's got like armor or something here right, which like comes to like a spike there And then comes down. So just this silver spike on that side. All right, and then shoulder on this side. Right between the fingers again, real big, wide shoulders down to there and we do have another spiky thing on his arm here but we'll just get his like big bicep sort of in first and then these lines that go down around his shoulder there just down this way like so and then like shoulder muscle deltoid lines and then this has a line inside, two of them, like the other side. You're just kind of copying the other side of his shoulder now. Make another line there. And a spike here. It's so like... It's like, so that's like silver on his forearm and then of course you'll erase any lines like underneath his thumbs and stuff 
Like maybe there might be like a silver line going down there. And thicken up any edge lines you want. Alright, but I think I'll leave it there. Wakanda forever. Hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.